telling me you just woke up in there, or you're just saying that the, the back and the, the shoulders started, right? Which one started first? Shoulders. Shoulders. And you don't recall that you were doing anything out of the ordinary. You're a student, mm -hmm. so you're studying a lot, Sleeping I hope. Sleeping on a dorm bed. Sleeping on a dorm bed. Got it, okay. Plus the travel and the commute. Mm -hmm. What were what other things started to develop as a result of this? Digestive issues, okay. skin problems, even a little hair loss. No digestion issues meaning what? Um, meaning unable to digest dairy very well. Okay. Um, having constipation, distension. And you didn't have this before six months ago. No. So six months ago, you started to feel pain between your shoulder blades, mm -hmm. and then you also started to get these other symptoms. Okay. Uh, and then how long after did the low back start? Pretty soon after. I'd say about a month okay. in. Really hardcore, like a month in. And then it just stayed that way. And the only difference is you started working out back then. Mm -hmm. So you started heavy in the gym? Mm -hmm. Hour a day, two hours a day? Like an hour. An hour. Every day, every other day? Like every day. Okay. So she pronates more on that right foot than the left foot. Keep going. She gets it on the left too, but more on that right. Okay, walk up on your toes again. Turn around, walk on your heels. Okay, have a seat over here, please. Left side slightly higher than the right, not bad though. Now, when I'm looking at the curve, it looks like she has a little bit of a straight, but there's a, there is curve there. And as it comes through, good. It starts to flatten out in here. This is called dishing, okay? It starts to flatten out a little bit here. This is just a general feel. And you got no curve here. So this is how I'm going to get you to sit, and I need you to start sitting, okay? Okay. That's normal posture for you, okay? Okay. But it's not there at the moment. First thing we're finding is upper cervical. That seems to be the theme today, Jeanette. Yeah. Cord pressure mm -hmm. up top or upper cervical. There's a big reading up top, and it's starting there. Now, if the signals aren't going down from up top, what does that do to the rest? And there's the big one. It's interesting that this is a common thing. Someone says I have better pain between my shoulder blades and all of a sudden my congestion is just a, something we've noticed a lot so definitely around T67 now we're not going to introduce or have to add anything to your life except figure out where the nerve pressure is and get you adjusted okay that way we have no other variables to rule out. We're getting pressure here, base, L5 sacrum. We're getting here on T6, T7, and we're getting up top in the atlas here. Mm -hmm. Right there. Tender? Yeah. More tender there or there? There. How about that one? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Let's, figure out, let's figure out where it's starting. Not there. Not really there. Little bit? Little bit. Right. That's where it is. That one right there. or that one? Oh, both of them. The okay. first one, though. So we're going with the, the bottom one. If we have two bad joints, we've got to fix the bottom one before the top okay. one, okay? Back slowly towards me. Sacrum. Five. Yeah. Five. So this is actually right pelvis, lady. Okay. okay? And I'm checking your glute folds. So right side is higher, right side is flatter. Mm -hmm. That's related to an ASI and calium. Now march in place, please. Yeah, and stop. And so here's what's happening. Right pelvis goes up and turns in. So you favor slightly to the right, okay? Slightly to the right. That's where it starts. So between pelvis and L5, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna to start today. There's T6 and there's Atlas. So to be safe, let's get the messages down first from here. Otherwise, make no sense. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. T6. 
piece. Let's do the atlas first. We're doing it as an ASRP. What's different? I can see. <laughs> what? I can like see. My neck. What do you mean you can see? I just like feel like I'm not like struggling to keep my eyes straight. What are you talking about? I don't know. I, I swear. It's different. Yeah, I swear. I need you to hold your wrist. You get me? Mm -hmm. I'm stealing my thunder. Everyone's stealing my thunder today. A lot of it going on set up. Beautiful. Home run, lady. Wow. Wow what? Butter. Wow what? Butter. Butter? Mm -hmm. You're watching too many. I am. <laughs> up on your toes. I bet you six is clear. Clear. This is a parasympathetic issue. That's where we're going to start. Five is clear. Okay. Now, let's do passive range of motion. Get the ankle prepped up. And let's set it. One more. Gotcha. It was the ankle. I didn't even know. Okay. Up on your toes. That should feel easier now. Yeah. Wow. On your heels. You're walking smoother now. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. So, communications, huh? Mm -hmm. What kind of communications? All kinds of communications. Mm -hmm. Organizational. So what we're dealing with, kinds. what we're dealing with right now, is communicating the brain with the rest of your body. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So, in addition to the homework, because there was a pelvic involvement, uh, very simple one-legged stance. Okay. Two minutes each side. Okay. Eyes open. Okay. When you can do two minutes eyes open each side, then you can also do two minutes eyes closed. Okay. Simple. Okay. Walking water ice, one legged stance. Got it. That's it. I'll see you next visit. All right. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.